All right, guys, so the opinion on this is debatable, but most bourbon enthusiasts would agree, or tend to agree, that the sweet spot for bourbon is somewhere between 8 and 12 years old. Well, Wilderness Trail, the award-winning distillery out of Danville, Kentucky, has hit one of those milestones with an 8-year-old bottle and bond small batch bourbon. They say it's hit its peak. Let's find out on the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from The Master and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Co-owners Shane Baker and Pat Heist have used their love of whiskey in 28-plus years of fermentation expertise to make some of the best bourbons and ryes coming out of Kentucky that's created a huge following. Wilderness Trail prides itself on a lot of things they do right. They use locally sourced grains, they use a sweet mash process, low barrel entry proof, and they non-chill filter their whiskey. Now, if you rewind to their first release, it was a four-year-old weeded bourbon that a lot of people thought was very impressive for the age. Fast forward to now, their bourbons have been getting up in age, but before we dive into this eight year, let's welcome a new sponsor to the Mash and Drum. It is Fetch Rewards. Guys, this is friggin' cool. Fetch Rewards is an app I was introduced to not that long ago, and after I was, I had like this immediate feeling of where has this been all my life? So what is Fetch Rewards? Fetch Rewards is a free, super easy to use app where you can earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Basically, all you do is scan any physical receipt or e-receipt if you do a lot of online shopping like I do, stores, restaurants, whatever. When you do that, you earn points for every single purchase. Even if you have receipts that are up to a week old, you could still scan them and earn points. So here's how it works. You get into the app. Once there, you can see all the things available that you can earn points on. You have the ability to search any popular brand or restaurant that you're interested in. Even if you don't have a particular brand or item in mind, you could just start scanning your receipts and Fetch will find the reward for you. So here is a receipt I used at Sam's Club to buy these smoothies I like to drink for breakfast. Click the camera icon, scan the receipt, and boom, just like that, 1139 points. Now redemptions for rewards start at about 5,000 points. So what can you redeem? After you scan and you build up those points, you could redeem those for hundreds of rewards, including gift cards from Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, GameStop, the movie theater, and even Guitar Center where I can get some new gear for my drum kit. Again, Fetch is 100% free, easy to use, and it's lightning fast. Okay, I know everybody loves rewards like I do, so if you want to start using Fetch Rewards, check out the link in the description below. Use the code MASH and get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. That's right, you'll be able to redeem your first gift card with my code right away. So download the app now and use the code MASH to get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. This is a limited time offer for my viewers, so go get it now. And thanks again to Fetch Rewards for the opportunity for my viewers. So this new eight-year bourbon is not a weeder. Now the mash bill uses their rye bourbon mash bill. Uh, this bourbon is also made using a sweet mash, meaning that they start from scratch every time as opposed to a sour mash, which uses a bit of the back set from a prior distillation run. All right, let's pour this thing. <laughs> I forgot when I cracked this open for the first time on my live stream that I broke the cork. There we go. Uh, big shout out to Todd Ritter for uh, sending me this bottle to review. I'm sorry I broke your cork, buddy. <laughs> All right, so Wilderness Trail 8-Year Bourbon is a small batch, supposedly about 18 to 20 barrels. It's bottled in bond, so 100 proof. Mash bill of 64 corn, 24 rye, 12 barley. The first batch was sold only at the distillery, with the second batch being sold throughout Kentucky for a price of 86 bucks. Let's get it. Definitely get like a nice nuttiness on the nose, which is, uh, I don't think I remember getting that the first time. It's got a really nice sweet oak profile. When I first tried this, I was thinking, man, this is, this is coming off very Buffalo Tracy. A lot of sweetness, a lot of sweet oak, powdered sugar. There's a, like a breadiness, but like a cakiness to it. It's almost like a sweet, like a, um, I don't know, maybe like fruitcake. I get kind of a stewed apple cinnamon note, which is kind of nice. Overall, the, the nose is really nice. It's well balanced. You, you definitely feel the eight year old age in it a little bit with that sweet oak punch. Get some nuttiness there. Now I did have some thoughts the first time I tried this, but let's see if it's changed a little bit. Cheers guys. All right, first sip is good. I'm getting honey and I'm also getting white raisins. Not dark raisins, but white raisin. I will say like all Wilderness Trail whiskeys, 
you know, bourbons, the rise, it's, I mean, it's thick, it's rich, it's viscous, it's, you could almost chew it. All right, next sip. The spice is holding true. Okay, good finish on this too. All right, this one is, is like flipping on me. Because when I first tried this, I thought it was a little bit soft. Not as, not as, not as uh, flavorful as I would like. Like I felt like the palate was just coming off a little bit soft on the front of the palate. You know, I think some of that is still a little bit true for me. There's a very well aged note in here, almost like a leather and oak and, you know, you get that nuttiness I was talking about, that little punch of like a white raisin. I would say there's some toffee here, you know, caramel and toffee as well. Really nice balance. Again, the sweet is there, the spice is there. The, I think the best part of this whiskey is actually the finish. I think Wilderness Trail always impresses me with the finishes, but where it's lacking a little bit for me is the front of the palate. Starting to get a little bit of a banana note in this as well, especially when I like start bringing it up to my nose. There's a little bit, a little hint of a banana like a sweet banana, like a Bananas Foster type banana, without the rum. It's just like banana cinnamon. Man, on one hand, it's really nice to taste the evolution of Wilderness Trail and where their stuff is going, especially at eight years old. But on the other hand, now I have to remember, it's 100 proof. I can't think that it's gonna you know, punch like 115 or 120. But at 100 proof, it, I just think it's drinking a little bit softer than I thought. Yeah, the spice is there. I think the rye spice, the black pepper, the sweet oak are like your predominant flavors. But I feel like the most exciting part about this bourbon is from like the three quarters of the way back into the finish. The front of the palate, I'm just not getting enough flavor pop for me. Like I want more. And it's just not, every time I go back to sip it, the shining star is like three quarters of the way back on my tongue then into the finish. That's where, I mean, the, the the finish is still going and that's where all the sweetness and the spice and the black pepper is a little bit of like that that raisin yeah the spice on this is the shining star that is the note that makes this bourbon shine however with that said i want more in the front of the palate and i've gotten more in the front of the palate before with a lot of different wilderness trail products but for this eight year, I feel like the spice and everything that's giving you that, that nice long finish, that's probably the best part of this bourbon. You know what, let's do a quick final breakdown on this one. All right, price on this one, 86 bucks. As I mentioned, uh, secondary value. I haven't seen these at all. This was a pretty small release. Availability, I mean, this is their first eight year release, so obviously this is gonna be pretty limited. Uh, value for this one at 86 bucks, eight years old. I'm not gonna say it's a low value, but I'm gonna say it's below average. I think there's, you know, at $86, at eight years old, you're you're competing with a lot of available bourbons on the shelf that are cheaper than this. So I'm gonna say it's below average. Uh, most I'd pay for this one, I wouldn't go higher than than uh, than retail. If I could find it at retail and I want this bottle, don't go over retail for this. Is it a recommend? Like I said, if they were going for a softer profile, I think they nailed it. But for me personally, I think it's a little bit too soft in the front of the palate. It's all spice and finish on the three quarters of the way back into the finish right there. Just like just sits, it just sits on the back of your palate and you, you almost get like that rye spice pop rocks thing going on. And normally that would put me over the edge for a bourbon. I'm like, yes, get it immediately. But there's just not enough going on on the front of the palate. I've had single barrels uh, from Wilderness Trail that even I've selected myself that are just absolute flavor bombs. And I just feel like this one's lacking a little bit. So maybe as we go on and they keep doing different small batches and some single barrels of their older stuff, I'm sure we're gonna see some amazing stuff coming out of Wilderness Trail. But for me, for this one, I can't say it's a total yes. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this review on the Wilderness Trail eight year small batch bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments if you guys were lucky enough to get a bottle of this one. I heard a lot of great reviews on this one. People really loved it. And like I said, I think it's a great bourbon. I just, I feel like I want more in the front of the palate uh, personally, but hope you enjoyed it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share with. Cheers. And see you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Damn broken cork. I'm really sorry I broke that.